Howdy folks. I'd like to show all of you how to make the fifth item on our uh, list of things that might be useful to you in your classroom. And this of course is a weekly planning doc. Now this document might be useful for you only. It might be like just something for you to plan uh, what your classes are going to look like long term, or it might be more useful. It might be something that you want students to be able to see so they can think about what's going to be happening in class very long term. It's your choice whether you design it for just yourself or whether you design it to be student facing and post it to your LMS. Um, so the first thing we want is to make this landscape instead of portrait. So instead of being up and down, we want to make it, uh, we want to turn it sideways and we want the margin to be smaller. Um, so we're making the most of our space. So I'm going to go file page setup, and then from orientation, I want to change it to landscape, and then the margins 0 0.5 all the way down. I'm just typing 0 0.5 in one box, tab on the left side of the keyboard, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5. Cool. Now, we're going to add a table. I'm going to insert one table, and I want this to just be a one by one. And this is going to be my title. Um, so the title here is, I'm just going to call this weekly planning doc. You can call it whatever you want. Planning doc, spring 2023. I'm going to change the aesthetics here a little bit. Make it Garamond 12. And change the borders to gray. Change the, to change the borders, you can use this marker over here. So I'm going to click that, and then the gray above the yellow. I'm going to make this bold as well. All right. So we want another table now. I want the one, the new one, to have the same formatting as this one. So a, a shortcut instead of inserting another table is to just copy and paste. So I'm going to take this, select it, including the line above and below. Command C to copy, and then enter Command V to paste. If you're on Windows, you'll use Control instead of Command for that. All right, I'm going to delete this. And then I want to split this table into four columns. So I'm going to do a right click, split cell, and then four columns. At this point, I'm going to drag this one over a little bit, make it a little smaller, and then distribute the other columns so they're all the same width. So highlight them, right click, distribute columns. All right, so here we just want to type days and dates. I'm going to center these as well. It'll just look better that way. I'll highlight these. Center. Awesome. Now I'm going to put the classes I teach in here. Um, the number of columns you want for this row should correspond to the total number of classes you teach. Um, so if you only teach two different classes, then you would only need two columns here. And you could at this point merge two of these cells together. If you teach um, uh, four different things, then you might right click and split cells and then distribute the columns again so they're all the same size. All right, so at this point, I'm gonna type in the names of the classes I teach. Um, I have English 9A, periods one and two, and then Avid 11, period three, and AP English Language, period seven. Periods five and seven, excuse me. So I've got the three classes. Now I'm gonna insert a row below Just right click and then click insert row below, highlight, and then we're going to make this row bigger. And we do that by click by right clicking, click table properties, and then row and change the minimum row height to what you want it to be. I usually like these to be like two inches, it usually works. And sometimes you have to tweak them in order to make them uh, stay on 
like stay where you want them on the page. I'm going to insert a few more rows here while I can. right and then I also want to do some color coding here um, or fill in some boxes it just adds to the aesthetics and also helps it helps you not get lost when you're looking at your document so I'm gonna click the top here and then for the I want to fill the top I want to do a gray fill here I'm gonna do a slightly lighter I'm gonna do the same gray as the border so it looks like that or maybe maybe a little lighter gray actually would be good then here, English 9A, I think of English 9A as blue. I don't know why. That's too blue. I'm going to do a lighter blue. How about that one? And then Avid 11, I think of as green. And AP Lang is red. So it looks like that. Now at this point, for days and dates, I like to highlight this column only. And, and do um, and center the text with respect, like align the text vertically. So we're going to do table properties again. I'm going to hide the row setting and highlight and grab alignment. And then I want to change this from top to middle. And now we can type in these boxes. All right, so here's how this is really supposed to work. Um, I want to say, like, okay, my first class is going to be, um, is we're on a block schedule every day but Monday. So uh, Monday, um, I would just, I'm, I don't really know the dates. I'll just choose some here. Let's say Monday the 20th is a, uh, well, no, those are actually, that's actually the CASP week. Let's say the 27th. So I might just say M327. Oh, it's not typing. M327. Uh, this is going to be the, I don't know if I'm certain about this, but I'm going to guess this is the 23rd class, so I would type class 23. I'm going to unbold these. They don't really need to be bold. And that's it. I don't actually need to include any other information there if I don't want to. Um, some people like to separate out the date like that. So then I'm going to select this. Or excuse me, I don't want to do that. I want to move on to the next one. So then the next day is going to be Tuesday, Wednesday is the block period. I have my 9A and Avid on Tuesdays and AP Lang on Thursday. So I want to select this or type TW for Tuesday, Wednesday, and then the date. So 327, or excuse me, 328, 29. And this would be class 24, the 24th time our class meets over the semester and so on. And then this would be um, RF. R stands for Thursday. I take that from a college course sign-up systems that students can use. So do a three slash 30, 31. All right, and that's it. And then at this point, I would just type in what's happening in each of my classes. And usually I would think this through well in advance. So I know, for example, that on, uh, I think I was looking, yeah, at, uh, on March 27th, some of my students are going to be um, working on a prologue activity in Romeo and Juliet. So I might say like, uh, intro Mondays are short periods, so I might just say like intro prologue activity and work on. And then here I would just continue the sort of timeline of my session. So finish prologue activity and reference sheet. I don't really want these to be bold. I'm going to unbold all of these. Select them all. I did a command B. I'm going to need to do two actually. To make sure none of them are bold. All right. And then next here, I might write um, uh, I said for uh, finish prologue activity and present 
and then reference sheet is an assignment I as, as the, that would be my next activity and that would take the whole period the whole 90 minutes on Tuesday and I would do this for all my classes and I try to do it as far out in advance as I think is reasonable of course changes have to be made sometimes but uh, it's really nice to have this long-term plan um, when I'm planning uh, for my classes each weekend or sometimes in the evenings um, I will be I will immediately pull this up it's the first step and just get this big picture sense of what it is that I have to do in order to be ready for class for any given day. All right, that's it.